What's good, Petty Verse? It's your boy Sleep. Tanya. Domo. Moderator. What's up, y'all? It's Greg. Yo, it's Clayton. Ugh. Welcome to the Petty House. All right, <laughs> Petty Verse. So, for those of you who don't know, recently in this week's uh, Petty Petty Universe Summer Jam screen, this couple, a young lady brought her boyfriend for, I believe it was his, his, his birthday. She brought him a gift. A very thoughtful gift. Um, she was definitely thinking longevity, black excellence, you know, creating generational wealth. Was she? For his birthday, she purchased him a rental property that probably le- needed little to no rehab. However, little, little to he know? wasn't okay. the uh, most pleased at this gesture. So when yeah, she nice. pulled out of this decorative gift bag, decorative. the contract for the property for which he now owns, he, out of his own mouth, said, I wanted a Rolex instead. My petty people, I need to know what y'all think about that. Was this some just dusty sun ghetto nonsense? Or was she in the right? Like, who was wrong here? Does he need to get his life together? Or did she pull up nice and correct? I'm going to let y'all finish. With that gift. Because I clearly feel. Just, just start, because you're already on the mic. So just start. I don't. Yeah, I feel what, like what she was think? dead ass wrong. I feel like. First of all, you got to get into the backstory of the story. She bought him a rental property that was a trap house, basically, in the middle of one of the worst neighborhoods in Detroit. So you can make that look as nice as you want it to look. At the end of the day, it's still in Detroit, Michigan. And we all know the- Shout out Detroit. The economic back history of Detroit and how- Shout out Detroit because yeah, my father's from there. I mean, shout out to Detroit. Family is from there, so. But yeah. what has happened to the economy is no comment on Detroit. Is <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Detroit. It's, it's not. It's not a good thing what has happened to their city. So there's that, and then it's just the the basic of it. If I, if the man asks for something, get him what he asks for. But he didn't ask for that. If he said he said I wanted a Rolex, did he not? He said so, I would I rather. Wanted, I, wait, yeah, wait. I, can I finish? <laughs> if <laughs> unless the man said, "Hey, I specifically want a rental property," don't get him a rental property. If I say, "I," if I when I buy, he didn't people, say he wanted a Rolex I either, though. What right. I'm saying, if I. Tell people, if I ask you, what do you want me to get you? And you tell me what you want, I'm going to get you that. If I, mm. And if you're in a relationship, you he should know what your, what your partner wants. In my, opi- in my opinion, he didn't tell if, you know your partner, if, you know, if you know your partner doesn't want a rental property, why would you buy him a rental property? Why would you go out of your way to get him that if you know that that man Whatever his situation is, if he got but that's a job, not the case here. Job, like what yeah, Steve said, she was thinking longevity. Yeah. Right, that's not and the again, case here. It was no, it, there is no again no, because you're again. speaking Wait, as though. Was she thinking like, longevity? Like, like, was she thinking that? Right, I don't like, know anything about this, her, this girl her past this story. Yeah, so was she thinking that? No, there was no conversation of what do you want. Like he never said, "I want a Rolex." He said, "I would have rather." Hold on, hold on, Is that what she said? Right, is that what he said? This is for longevity. No, that's what he said. Why oh. else would you be buying somebody a rental okay, property? So she didn't say that. She didn't Speak say that, correct? It. All right, Speak so you're it. assuming that's what she said. But, she, but she why, else, why like, else would you be buying someone a rental property? Why else? Answer that question. Answer that question. Why else would you be buying someone a rental property? No, 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 no. Assumption. We're having a healthy debate. I asked a question. I just want to answer. Why else would you be buying someone a rental property? Whatever. Why else would you be buying Buying a rental property. I don't care. No. Why else would you do that? Why? Yes, it does matter. What you mean? Pause. Why else would you be buying someone? Pause. 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 All right. Welcome to the party house. All the way. What was the approach of how he took it? Like, what was? But you know what? I give it to Clay. He could have. He could have been better in his approach. Because I felt like he came off a little like. But at the same token. 
first of all, I, I don't, I don't. He was I being think. sideways from the giddy up because when we get the initial where she walks up with the gift in the bag, first thing he says is, "You open it up for me." That was one red flag. If I'm buying you something, this is for you to open up. You're already telling me you don't right. give a damn what I'm about to give you. So that was red flag number one. Number two was the initial when she's telling him about the rental property and he's saying, I would have rather, uh, did he say I would rather or I, would, I wanted? He yeah, I said, I would have rather a Rolex. Okay, so with that said, even his friends standing to the side were his like, approach yeah. you are ass. bugging, dude. His approach was wrong. His I approach was disgusting. It was in that response. However, yeah, his response was disgusting. Very ungrateful. In, in that case, then he would always be wrong because the approach is everything. She did something out of the kindness of her heart. That's it. And he he reacted agree. in a way that was kind of like spoiled. Oh, and I don't that's think it. it was like, spoiled. See, I don't think it was spoiled. I just think. No. You should you should know your partner well enough. There's certain things that True, I, I I agree with that. Things, but then the same thing. Me, if for example, if you buy me a pair of shoes, I'm gonna be like, why are you buying me that? No, because I I don't care about shoes. Just because you think I would like it doesn't True, mean I agree that, with that I should just be like, yay, thank I you. I agree you with that. But saying? still, on the same breath, His like I said, even when wrong. she walked up and he's like, oh, can you you can open it for me or open this for me? No. That's not how we doing this. And if he didn't like the rental property, that was one of those moments where you just say thank you, act like you good, and then talk about it at home. Yeah, that's not what I'm in front I, of I all your friends and all the people that are there and that embarrass part, that lady like that. That part I do agree with. Like it was the response. Okay, you not you not either. There could have been many a reason. Okay, let's say it wasn't just because he preferred a Rolex or whatever. Let's just say maybe he's not ready to take on a rental that property. Or this. Point. That's something not, that you could discuss he may not with her. Want to take that responsibility, right? Right. Whatever, but let's say that, let's know. say that was the case. That's what you discuss in the crib after after you situation. publicly accept this and don't have this lady standing there looking yeah. all types of the fool. That's all that I'm saying. Yeah, it was no. out of line. I agree with you on that. What y'all think? His approach was his approach was stink. I agree with Tanya. I agree with sleep. His approach was I'm just stink. saying. I'm just. I mean, you could fix it up. To be honest, right. it's still. It could be Detroit. It is what it is. But yeah, it could be it a many different things. You could have bought, you know. The and Detroit, Detroit they're something. doing that now. They're fixing up these homes. Yeah, they yeah, are. Yeah. And they're yeah, selling Detroit for is super cheap. They're it's definitely right. on us. Yeah, but they able see, and that's the what made it even it's better. It crazier yeah. to me because. He can do anything with that anything. rental property. Right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But you could have said that at the crib, mm -hmm. not in front of your friends, and not in front of all these other. And people she probably thought you. that was a better, a better gift because anybody else on it's, earth would think and like, rental property. That's like what Sleep said. It's, it's longevity. No matter. Gotta, right. I understand what that's you're saying. That's money in your pocket. I understand what you're saying. Continuously. Greg. I understand. You know your but if I'm thinking longevity, or we don't even like we said, we don't know the whole backstory on any situation. Maybe he need extra income or long term income. That's a fact. And she's thinking, you know what? Light bulb, so right. I don't have to keep funding or whatever they might have going on. <laughs> Not saying that that's what they're doing, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like say this is a situation where one is leaning on the other. Mm. I can set you up to so make you, you better to. than what's going on right now and you all here Facts. the fool. Because what is a Rolex gonna do for you? Right. So like, again but depreciating value. As soon as you put it on your rusty ass wrist, yeah, solid I'm, point. Yeah, it's gonna be a no for me for his reaction. I'm just saying, That's you crazy. You should know your partner no to well it. enough to know what they but can. You, and I feel like you're making it seem like she bought him sneakers, or it's a difference between yeah, she, she bought like him, him like a shirt. And he wanted sneakers, he, right? This is different. Yeah, this is a whole point. rental property or just something materialistic. No, that's not the point. But whatever. Next topic. <laughs> Ain't no need to be uh, spicy. Right. Don't Ain't no need to be spicy. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> We're not, not gonna, gonna do, do that. that. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We're just gonna run, run around in circles. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna run around in circles. <laughs> so the next we'll topic, <laughs> recently in the news, um, Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kenya Moore and her husband, recently in a few episodes of the show. Kenya and her husband have butted heads and on numerous occasions, he has basically supported the opposition. Basically, if she say A, 
He's saying B in front of everybody in, on the show. Numerous times she's brought it up, numerous of times, and basically he's just like, it is what it is. So He don't like her. <laughs> so my he question is, you <laughs> one, what do you think of that? And two, how would you handle that? And what do you think of like going against your significant other or even not even your significant your your close your real close family members in front of basically company you wouldn't get the chance to try to embarrass me in front of other people like that yeah i was gonna you wouldn't get the chance i mean the first time was a slip up like like saying like you caught me off guard but the next time i'm not even letting you know anything like you'll find out with everybody else (laughs) yeah like you'll find out who's here when you get here because I've seen a few, I've seen a couple of clips, and I remember the last clip I saw. They was at like a bowling alley or something. Yeah, that's and a, certain that's a people, clip I saw on yeah, the Jasmine she brand. Shout had out to Jasmine brand. said certain people weren't invited, but he was like, oh, "I they're don't." Coming. They're, he was like, "Nah, they 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 coming. They're coming. Oh. You know, I don't see why they can't come." Basically, that's the kind of time he was on. Right. To which I said, "He don't like her because <laughs> if that's your wife, if she said, uh, whoever can't come, X Y Z." They can't come to the party and he's like but no i want them to come to the party and he's doing this in front of people so it's right. like this is not an in-house conversation where it should be in-house mm-hmm. i think he's wrong but i also think he don't like her so if you don't like no party it doesn't really matter <laughs> that's, it doesn't the, really matter. that's the driving point of this <laughs> you don't job. like that lady so <laughs> right so if you don't care if you don't care about this person and their feelings why does it matter if they going against you in public? They don't care. They right. showing you at every twist he's and turn that, yeah. that they do not care. At every chance he gets, and, he and can he's telling you point he blank. Care. And like you said, if you you're out with your spouse or something and there's an issue that pops up and like say your spouse or your girlfriend or boyfriend is wrong, you I don't feel that that should be addressed in front of people. If you feel they're wrong, right. you either keep your mouth shut eat it for that moment or just chill out and y'all discuss this in the car or when y'all get to the crib because what you gonna do if you sit there and you side with the oppositions on this matter Facts. It's it not makes, gonna be good. It's gonna make the issue it's gonna make even both bigger. Of y'all look stupid. Hella stupid. It's gonna make another issue arise. Not with just you, but now people gossip and now they like, yo, <laughs> like get your house. Like, Are they yeah, married? Like, damn, they house ain't even in order. <laughs> right, their home they front's not, not even, even strong. They not right. even on one accord. So now y'all got multiple problems that you don't need. So I don't agree with that. If you got, if you your spouse is wrong, and it's they might be plenty of times. Mm-hmm. Nah, you don't go against the when family. When your spouse is wrong, nah, but you, you sit in the car, you sit in the car, and you just be like, yo. You know what you did in there was foul. Maybe you should apologize he could, he, tomorrow. He could he could have even like texted her on the low, like yo. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or you could text coming, them while they in the middle, be coming. like, all right, just relax. Yeah. Just on the calm down. But but don't do that in front of. Yeah. yeah like, nah, start, we gotta be on the same once page. Once you start taking the other people's sides, and like you said, it's the same thing with family. Also, like yeah. close family members. If you think they're wrong, just listen. I don't know. I I usually say I don't I don't know why. Like I don't know. Yeah, man, I'm not I, giving you no. Yes, I agree with you. No, no, I don't agree. But with you're you not gonna like. No, you gotta. You know? uh-uh. I think you it also depends on what they're talking about. If it's something like that, who you are and or not inviting to a party. I mean, y'all could discuss that by yourselves. I mean, the person doesn't have to be there for them to know that you didn't want them to be there. True. But I think certain other things like maybe like hard topics. Like if you're having like a discussion, mm-hmm. you're not gonna always agree. Right. But you don't need to flat out embarrass me. True, but yeah. it can't be what kind of hard topic because it can't be a topic that come up that's gonna break up y'all house right. when y'all get yeah, home. Because like, y'all if you're gonna be get married, you should already have like, that discussion. Yeah, y'all can't be talking about who want kids, who don't want kids, yeah. right. and that's next thing you yeah. know, in the middle of the group, you like, I ain't never want no kids. <laughs> and you like, but but I want kids. See right, now, right, you, now right. y'all sitting here, y'all now y'all looking crazy. Hello, crazy. Yeah, nah. It definitely depends on what's said. Don't have your home but front honestly, looking crazy. I feel like sometimes it goes deeper than that because I feel like sometimes in a relationship when it's between a male and female, sometimes the male has to feel like their, their voice has to be overpowering sometimes to the woman. So some, I feel like not in that situation though, where your wife is telling you she don't like a certain group of people and you're like, yeah, but they're still coming. Like, no, if my wife yeah. don't like them, I don't like you. Yeah. You don't like them. But I think I may like you, but I can't like you. And I don't like men getting involved in women issues either. Agree with that. And that's another. They should really take a back seat. Unless your wife is getting jumped, you shouldn't be involved. If they arguing, unless you going over to break them up, unless you going over to break up the argument or break up the fight, 
what you should not be doing is throwing in your two cents. Absolutely not. Yeah, I yeah. I think me personally, I would never. My wife, and especially because I'm not married right now, but my family, if even if like, say my sister does something, and we're in front of a group of people, and she's a hundred percent in the wrong. I'm never gonna be like, oh, you know, you dead ass wrong for that. It depends who we're in front of. If we people outside the family, I would oh, not. All right. If all right. we're in, if we're in the family, we can have a civil conversation. Be like, yo, you, you, you know, you, you could have did better on that. Da, 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 da. But if we're outside of our family, I'm never, I'm never, I would never go against anything my any any of my family members say. If they say left, shit, it's left. If it's stay right, oh, it's right. If it's red, it's red. You know what I'm saying? I would never, and I definitely would never side with somebody with the opposition. else. The <laughs> opposition. Outside, like, a word? You don't like them? I don't like them. That's it? You don't like them? They're not coming. That's it. Now, if like, you want to sit there and have that conversation, if you ask somebody in public, right. you think I was wrong? Be ready for the answer. Yeah. Either one, you're going to be ready for the answer. Or like I said, the the person being asked just be like, let's just go. But just never, <laughs> never so just go. Like, let's just call it a night. To we'll talk later. Yeah. I don't never feel like it right now. To the opposition, I don't that's feel like gonna, it right now. But since we're on this topic, if we're in public and you have a family member that says something and you don't quite, it doesn't quite sit well with you. At that moment in time, you're not going to speak on it. I never heard it. Wait? Right, just don't say nothing. <laughs> I just never sit heard there quiet. I never you know it. And then when we alone, hey, yeah, what you exactly. said earlier? What you said? Oh, right it was here? fucked up. That was it didn't whack. really sit well. That was kind of whack. Why and that's that. that. But it's folks, about the approach, folks can't be you know? looking at your home front like, nah, we can just infiltrate that whole right. system right here. Break that whole situation up. Break that whole situation Like, oh, we about to mess that up. Like, nah. No. Yeah. in front. Yep. And then when we get like yo. Uh, then when y'all get home, then y'all can be at odds. Y'all can be at war. But what he's doing is crazy. Like, but like I said, he. And don't on that, like my her. thing is, it's national Does TV, not like her. my guy. <laughs> it's national. Even if she's the meanest lady on the planet, you supposed to united front. And then when them cameras go away, be like, yo, what you did? Was, he like her friends more whack. than he like her. That's just yo. whack to me. I'm sorry. He looks hella whack. No matter how you feel about that lady, she mean. She she's evil spirit or whatever. You supposed to have your wife's back. That's she it. say I don't like her. She ain't. We ain't never gonna see her again. We ain't never gonna hang out. She's never coming. You supposed to have your wife's back, and a wife is supposed to have her husband's back. United front all the time. And what he's doing is that's just, a fact. Because if I don't like wack. somebody, and my wife like them, goes behind and my up. back and invites them, and they're up. both leaving. You can get your oh, shit wow. and get the fuck out too. Wow, that's a oh, curveball. That's a curveball. And I, oop. and I, this is my house too. Looks, Everybody can get it all out. the way. <laughs> all I just right. think he looks hella whack for that. Party's over. Party's <laughs> over. <laughs> Record scratch. <laughs> all right. So in media, there has been some interesting things going on. One of them have been Summer Walker. And her recent changes to her nose and social media had a lot to say about that. So I just wanted to ask a question about just black people and getting this plastic surgery and how does it tie in between insecurity sometimes? Do you guys feel like it ties into insecurities or is it just something that you could, like black people want to get done for them or they don't like certain features for black people? How do you feel about that? There's a difference between like hating your features because you're black or like okay the insecurity part i can understand that part right. that that part doesn't make sense to me i just uh, i guess letting people influence how you see yourself that badly that you want like to physically change yeah. right that's that's the bad part that i understand but i mean if you want a bigger butt or if you want like smaller boobs or Big old I don't know. Right. I don't see the problem with that. But when you're changing like features specific to you being black because you are black, that's where I see the problem. Hilarious. Hilarious. I feel like it's I'm just confused with Summer Walker because she says that she has social anxiety, but yet she's doing shit like this. So we're gonna throw some. But that oh, doesn't no. um but go into play. 
no, no, no. But that doesn't <laughs> correlate. Social anxiety is two different it things. You know, it's in front of other people. It that includes me many you other outside, people. You don't want to be seen anyway, but yet you fix your nose. That's for not what she said. She didn't say she didn't want to be seen. Now. Pick a wall. <laughs> Pick a wall. <laughs> boots. Now, so was she, it boots? Like, so she can't have social anxiety and get plastic surgery. You, out, of, out of everything, out of all your features, you change your nose, bruh. Where's the hair? Where's the hair? She has no hair. She has so no out of hair? everything, you fix your nose, but you You said she has no hair? She has no hair. No Ball hair on her head? Yeah. <laughs> Ain't got no hair in the bag. Jail door, weave door. I'm just your saying. She I'm confused. Though. Very pretty girl. Very pretty girl. Summer Walker. I'm so confused user. as to what you're talking I'm about. I'm just saying. Right she, she confuses me. She, she confuses me. <laughs> Where's the hair? Who's what we're not going to do is right, bash it's, it's, black people. All yeah, right, it's, it's Black History Month. It is. Be respectful. We have like two more days. But I just, I, it just confuses me. I'll say that. But I love your music so much. Now I do have to say that Summer Walker is a, a beautiful, beautiful girl. Which she didn't need she to get is, her nose she done. She did not. She's not trying to look like Michael. But if she felt the yeah, need that's to get what her I, nose yeah. done. Yeah. yeah. If she felt the need to get her nose done to make her more happy or make her feel like better inside, then more props to her. But she was a beauty without it to me. Um, speaking of, of them are. a lot, and this have speaking of necessary. plastic surgery, there have been a lot of black people in Hollywood that have actually gotten work done. I don't know if you guys know Kelly Rowland. She got her boobs got a, done, got and boob, they look fine. Got a nose job. Who? As well. I love Kelly. Kelly don't Rowland. disrespect Kelly Rowland. She's I love excuse Kelly me. She's a are you sure queen. that's facts? Like, Google that shit. Queen. Google that Google. shit. Google. All right. That must have been because it was medically needed. She's a chocolate yeah. queen. Fuck out of here. <laughs> okay. I hate you so much. She couldn't she breathe. breathe. That's why. She couldn't right, breathe. Well. <laughs> Answering your initial question, if she couldn't breathe, possibly yeah. surge cosmetic augmentations are tied into um, insecurities. That is, in my opinion, a very high possibility, right? One of the remarks you made was if Summer Walker getting her nose done was done in effort to make her self more happy, right? The issue with that statement is humans in general, we're never satisfied, right? If I say I want to save or make a million dollars, when I reach a million, I'm going to want five. I'm going to want ten. I'm never going to be satisfied with that dollar amount. If I say I want to get my nose done for it to be more aesthetically pleasing to me, right? I found that flaw within myself. No one else said your nose should be thinner and more pointy. I found that flaw within myself. So now after I get this surgery done, it's gonna, I'm going to find something else that I need to fix or upgrade, Right. So first is the nose, then it might be thinning the lips, then it might be enlarging the breast, it might be tucking the tummy. It's it's never going to be enough, right? So that's like when on social media, and never mind just celebrities, we'll go with quote unquote IG models, right? When they say I didn't I didn't I didn't do this for anybody else, I did it for me. But you're showing all of us. You, you know what I'm saying? Did so, you do it? Did you do it to boost your? You own lost me ego, there, or did you do it for these likes? You lost me there, cause I feel like you could do it for yourself, but you still want to show it off. That's like that's like you buying a Ferrari, you're not gonna keep it in the garage. You know what I'm saying? The point that I'm making. All right, when people say, "Oh, I did this for me," right? You didn't just do this for you, because if you only did it for you, right? then this would have been done before it was a trend, before it was the wave. Maybe she you know had the money for it. So, yeah. so might, I don't get that. So this, going from what Sleep says, this brings me back to another question I had that I wanted to bring to the table. What exactly is it that makes black people feel like that we have to change our natural features so much to make it more Listen, those hero. black people are not here. So honestly, you can't really ask us that question. But in general, just look, not all black people. But look, it's not all black people. It's certain people just want to change shit about themselves because mm -hmm. they're not happy with it. Right, right. He just like he said, they just 
they're not happy with them. I don't want to say they're not happy with themselves, but they're not happy mm-hmm. with whatever they're feature not, that they're, they're not changing. They're happy with their hair. They're not happy with their skin tone. You, they're not happy with this mold that they had on their body their whole life. You know what I'm saying? It, it, something, you know what I'm saying? Like Delicious. Delicious got a whole mold moved off her of, uh, moved off her of body. Delicious looks like a whole new person. Oh, right. Person. Yeah, that's person. different. Like, you know she saying? looks like she zipped so, down her old body and then right. it like fell off to the side. <laughs> and they like fell you know off to the side. <laughs> or, 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 or like when people go get these. Give dishes, it up, um, delicious. You look like a man. <laughs> Or like when people get these ridiculous yeah, let me just um, zip this off. veneers, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's always going to be something. It, it, it first, it's a gap in your it, veneers have gotten way out of hand. Way out of people hand. are really walking around with chiclets. Gap in your so. teeth and then your the chiclets, gap. You had the chiclets, the gap your whole chiclets, life. and no one said it was anything wrong with the gap. You, know, you saw an issue with it. You closed the gap. It looked decent. Now yeah, it's actually you take the braces like, off. Now you want tighter. Shout out to braces. You can't even close his mouth. Done. Now you got these veneers and you looking like a homebozo. If you can't close your mouth, that's right. not the veneers for you. Right. <laughs> like, like how you, that should be the how you, how you leave the dentist with a lift? <laughs> how you leave like, the dentist with a lift? Like, you supposed thin. to go there and get that your ass, mouth fixed, but some of them are the getting their mouth last ruined. week <laughs> talking about my veneers. And he was like, I was like, now look, doc, don't have me looking. <laughs> crazy out here he was like what you mean i was like i've seen some veneers <laughs> where it's like brighter than this tissue Facts. and they like freaking horse teeth coming out of a human yeah, mouth like, like, <laughs> right. like, like that's exactly how i was they like look. doc and they always want to smile right, oh, right. Oh, your keep your mouth shut like, <laughs> man, that's the problem they can't keep their mouth shut that's why they smile all the damn time yeah, you're right you're right they can't keep their <laughs> I was like, yo, don't have me looking crazy out yo. here. Erica Mena too. Yeah, she, like, oh my once God. y'all take it. No. She definitely did, but you know what the problem is? You know what the problem is? it's crazy because she wasn't so ugly. People, she should have never did anything. It's a yeah. lot of people who went and got veneers and caps and all that, and they did not need to do it. All they needed was a simple whitening. That is it. Shit. But you got people that did it like T.I. when he did it. I was like, bruh. He had one of the prettiest smiles, and then went and That's the thing. and then went and natural. did that. I, I feel like he like Ti went like and got him better. some some ticks tic tacs. No, I, did, I, I feel like you. I feel like his shit was good. His mouth was good prior. No, but I'm saying even now. Saying nah, he got work. that. He got that. I can't close my mouth yeah. joint going on. I don't think it's bad. Yeah. I don't I like it. I like his like smile. I like his smile. Because I haven't really noticed it. I liked his smile prior, which was a. Perfect smile, straight. His teeth look fine to me. I feel like, like look- but now these ones he got in his mouth, I'm not really feeling it. But his is nowhere near. I feel like they look as bad extreme as, as like, like a Gucci man. Like that is way out of line. Like, At this point, it's like so that looks yeah. scary. It's just like yes. these are it like, looks like that cartoon. These- oh, it's a cartoon. You mean the anime? Tory Lanez too. Yeah, um, yeah like. Yeah, what exactly? Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan. Like they about to bite you. Like you're about your neck. Yeah, like, like oh, God. Like they hold. Like, like they, but their like neck they, is going to come oh, off in the like, process. Like it's like. A chiclet. It's like, get out of here. Like, you remember them toys or like the toys you used to get where you had the little the candy teeth. inside? Yes, the and, and you wind it, it up. Yeah, it's like, that's ex- Ooh, yes. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what it's starting to look like. Yes, and it's just like, like come on. just tone it and down. And it's smaller veneers you could get. And doctors that can do There are smaller veneers. Yeah, I gotta Smaller go to Columbia. Runiers. Oh, Shout who's that? There's a braces. doctor on IG that I know is like really, really good. I'm so ready dentist. for these things to be off. He's like super great. But, but, um, but yeah, going black part to, of it, back everything. to black history. That's mom. a whole nother. Really Us as black people, we just gotta learn to love ourselves, and all. Yes. That's like, like, I don't have no problem 5, when you wanna, um, I don't have a problem when that's a good picture. I don't have a problem with people that want to do um, plastic surgery. Mm-hmm. I think that that's cool as long as you do not go overboard right. and you keep it authentic. There's a lot of people in the industry who have had plastic surgery. Yeah, you you know, cannot tell. tell because they, they did subtle. not temporarily go insane. They knew when you to know, stop. Subtle. They knew when to stop. And I feel like it's like mechanics. Like you got to keep going back to tune well, you up do, yes. every you so often. So it's like once you start, yourself, yeah, you can't you know, stop. But but I'm a need for the whole era of women who are size twos going to get a 16 
size what? 16 ass Literally. and just sticking it on a right. size 2 body. Okay. Flex, it's just like they the look like ants, match. like queen ants. The <laughs> that's what they. Look Yo, like. remember you ever that seen the movie ants? <laughs> <laughs> that's, what they, that's what they look like. Remember that meme like, of the ant and clothes? I think you sent it. Like, it was me. It sure ago. was me. And that's what they look like. Like you gotta know your limit. Like Summer Walker, she said she got her butt done, but it looks but super it looks good. Right. She didn't go over. She, she has a petite frame. She does not need to get no ginormous ass. ass. And sit it there, and it just like because that's what it just it just be sitting there on some of them, and it just be like, and it's just like invasion of the plastic bodies. Now it's just like it's just like damn, can we slow the roll? And it's going to the same place. They just doing ass and boobs. You need thighs. You need hips. Who's that? Oh yes, from back. Wasn't she on like? She was basketball on a, a wives. Of, oh, yeah, basketball also? wives. She was on. Um, oh, I didn't see her lately. It's like a crazy square chin. It's like yeah, it's, it's like, like real angular. Like, but you, who else did that? Black China did that show with her yeah, face. Like, uh, yo. She looks like she looks the like, handsome Squidward. That's what they compared her to. Not the handsome. That shit was crazy. Right, I'm gonna head out. Right. <laughs> so same time next week. <laughs> not, you know, right, two weeks? not the handsome Squidward. <laughs> the character from. Um, not the Simpsons. handsome Squidward. The character from Simpsons that put back. <laughs> Yo, Damn. That like My thing is this: Why you walked in there and then you walked out like you know what you are? <laughs> and I feel like killing like, it. Like, <laughs> and your doctor took those bandages off and was like, <laughs> and everybody stood around like, yeah. <laughs> As you walked out that like yo. And y'all all need to take an L for this shit. <laughs> it's like it's like it's too perfect. Like. I feel like you need imperfections because too perfect, it just looks crazy, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. I think too perfect only looks bad when it looks too perfect, if that makes sense. Like, that it looks sense. it looks bought. No, I mean, like, right. it looks bought. Like, right. there's people, there's people for, right. to me, I've seen exactly. some celebrities who have had, like, the perfect face, and it's natural. They just have that right. face. Right. But, but if I can natural. sit there and literally, that's what I'm saying. If I can literally sit there and say, this is nice, but this is bought. This is a problem. <laughs> right. Like that's to me that 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 to me should be the deciding factor of what you get done during plastic surgery, how you get it done. And I want to still look natural. That's what y'all should go in there and say. I want to still don't look have natural. Me looking crazy. Like how you said, like a summer walker or like you're saying Kelly Rowland mm-hmm. or something. Things that we can't tell yes, right. that were actually Subtle. done. Subtle changes. Like you yourself. know, it's cool. Like they didn't go out and get no Giant, like I said, no ginormous ass and put on it. Or they didn't go get triple D breasts. They both have petite, small frames. So everybody would be like, yeah. yeah and Y'all I can think, hold this L. I think to go to Clay's original question, some some of them do have, like, you know, like, for example, K. Michelle. I think she, she got, like, you know, Didn't she abused. take her butt out, yeah, though? Yeah, she got abused. People telling her, you know, she ugly. Yeah. So she got her teeth. And she got an ass that was just. K. Michelle has some of them chiclet teeth, too. She sure do. And it's just too much. And then the, the flip side is that shit can make you sick. Like um, like New York. Now, people Tiffany, have, people have died. Her, 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 her implants, they started freaking leaking. And she had to well, I mean, hers were ridiculous, though. You don't yeah, remember when she, she had that? going when she up was and down, up and down. Yeah. Yeah. And, and they were like, look, you got to like take that. them out because you, you're literally getting yourself sick. Off people of have died so it's like, going too far with plastic surgery. You got to be smart when you, you know, go in there. Like you said. Do something that's subtle, but don't do nothing that's do like... Do it subtle. Change is as far. If you want to change your body, yeah. that is don't your business. Don't do a business. whole person change. But like don't... Little Kim. Where you're unrecognizable. Like, 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 I'm Kim. Kim. Like, I just saw you Kim. last year. Kim... Lou? Kim? Kim B? Kim, Absolutely not. Kim Lou? <laughs> King, King, <laughs> Kim <laughs> Wee? <laughs> Kim Wang? Because I don't know who the fuck... <laughs> Not Kim Jones, not Kimberly. Not no, Kim Jones. definitely not Kimberly I'm Jones. 90s hardcore? Nah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, if I just saw you nah. last year, skin? chocolate. This year, and I don't know what you. She last skin. Now, who the fuck is I that? Can't, can't understand what you yeah, are at went, this point in the game. Went. She should be like a cautionary tale. Like, right. yeah. do not do this. <laughs> <laughs> this is not what you want. You don't want to go from this to yeah, this. Yeah, like, like she completely. She was a pretty she, girl. She was. She, she was completely changed. Ugly. And she just yeah. she went. Way past, way, way, yeah, way, way past. But that tied into what Clay was saying because yeah. she said she did oh, that yeah, because big. I think Biggie she was her insecure. She, he likes light skin. Didn't he tell her she he, he liked light skin? Well, I don't think we should even be using that. that at this point because she didn't went to a whole nother color a way after his passing. Past so, light skin. <laughs> so my thing is, I, everything we gonna have to. T- you know what? At, at some point, people have to start taking responsibility. <laughs> like, <laughs> <But it> actually, <laughs> like, 
Like, you know what? Enough is enough, okay? Like, After the first two. But we still fuck with right. your music, Kim. Yeah, we like Lil' Kim. Hardcore. Hardcore is a great album. Definitely, definitely. I, got I personally love no the, the La Bella Mafia. I think that was my favorite Lil' Kim album. Yeah. After that, it was like... But we, but we like him. Fuck with Kim. Shout out to Lil' Kim. <laughs> OG. OG. Yeah. Did that answer your question, Clay? Yes, it did. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're not, we're not nothing, but you know answered. that. <laughs> All right, so to wrap this up, as we know, it's the last few days of Black History Month. I don't know ch- about y'all, but this Black History Month has been trash. But it's been a roller coaster. It's been horrible. it's been a lot. It's been a lot a going on. To say the least. So to wrap up our Black History Month, if we want to go around the table and give one person, past, present, dead, or alive, in Black History, making Black History, that you think. That you want to put a spotlight on. Um, well, I'll go. So I had, well, I had this person for a while because I actually read her books, but it would be Toni Morrison, who recently did pass. Yes, yeah, she did. And R.I.P. I don't know if you guys have ever read any of her books, but Beloved, which they actually did make a movie on mm-hmm. it, um, was super good. And she has another book called Love, which is a really, really good read. So if you're looking for Dope something author. interesting to read, I would suggest you go check out both of those books. She's an amazing author. And, you know, yes, she did recently pass. So uh, rest, rest in peace. Definitely, to a rest in peace Definitely a legend. My black history, most people know, the only sport that I follow is tennis. So I have to give it up to the queen of tennis, Serena Williams. She's <laughs> the only reason that I ever started watching tennis. And I just think she, what she's done for tennis, I think it's been amazing. Before she came along, it was lily white, barely any color in tennis. Um, boring, uh, outfits boring, watching it was boring, everything was just wiggity whack. So, and then after she came, she brought in a whole Wait, new era of tennis. Not wiggity whack. Tennis was wiggity whack. Well, Shout to Chris Cross. Yeah, tennis. say say women's, women's tennis because men's tennis Roger was Federer is super my lit. man and Fair. Andy Roddick. But they came my around at the dudes. same time though. They came around the same Shout time. Shout They the same age. Well, shout out to tennis. Shout out to tennis. I love tennis. Serena, tennis is lit. Serena is the GOAT, so period. She's the greatest female athlete, in my opinion, ever. And one of the greatest athletes that we've ever seen, ever. She transcends tennis. Everybody knows Serena. Greatest of all time. Love her. Only reason I watch tennis when she retires, I don't know what I'm going to do. But that day hasn't, hasn't come yet. So we're going to keep Hoping that take doesn't come as soon as possible. Well, Serena, if you see a guy named Greg Simmons, yeah. run out the way. Security. <laughs> if y'all want to buy me some tickets to U.S. Open, I will gladly take those. Send your security ASAP. Yeah. Like, but shout out to Serena. Shout out to, shout Serena. Serena. Shout out to Serena, though. Yeah, shout Serena. out to her. And her sister, Venus. Yes, I'm gonna, I love Venus as well. I mean, I guess. So. Oh, you know they're making a movie. Will Smith is going to play their father. Yes, I did hear about that. So shout out to Will Smith, too. Just doing good-ass movies. And I'm going to make mine quick. I'm, a, uh, I'm just going to... Uh, dedicate my Black History Month to Kobe and Pop Smoke and rest in peace, yo. That was a great memorial, by the way. And Gigi. Super Let me great. Gigi Very, too. Super Taste great Gigi memorial. Done. Very tastefully done. Tastefully done. Super emotional, but mm-hmm. great speeches all the way around. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Great memorial. Mm-hmm. Great memorial. So rest in peace to all three of those. Rest and easy. the other people who perished in that. Yes, and the families as well. Um, In light of Black History Month, I would have to say Shonda Rhimes. Um, she produced some gems for black people. Sure did. Truth, sure truth, truth. Did. truth. And, and not no bullshit neither. Right. No. None. The writing, the producing, everything on point. Scandal. Scandal. How to get away with murder. How to get away with murder. Grey's Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy. You know I mean? One of my favorite shows ever, by the way. Isn't she producing another show that's she coming is out? She producing T-G-I-T. another show. And um, she's the first African-American woman to produce a top 10 series on predominantly white networks. So shout out to her. Grey's doing Anatomy is lit. Oh, Grey's yeah. Anatomy been like, on for like twenty seasons. Son, what? I heard. Th- doesn't that Thursday. show have like? Mm-hmm. Doesn't that show have like eighty like seasons Thursday and twenty Thursday. episodes per yeah, fucking yeah, season? Yeah, it was lit. That shit is disgusting. Grey's Anatomy is on tilt all the time. Twenty. Fact, I think they're in their nineteenth season, no? Nineteenth. That's season. fucking insane. That's See, but that's great. That's a great one for a black woman. People still watch it and fully invested. Well, shout out to what's her name? Shonda Rhimes. Shonda Rhimes. Shout out to Shonda Rhimes. Yes. She has some great books as well. Keep getting that Caucasian money yep. heard you it's a whole fact mm-hmm. get the bag get paid young Run sister money. get paid hey, get hey. Paid young sister. hey. <laughs> <laughs> 
So Stop. <laughs> my Black History shout out. Are you done? To the one and only Carter G. Woodson. Okay. Many people don't know Heard you. that Black History Month used to only be Black History Week. Which was created which in I'm so a little upset that we have the shortest month in the year, but go ahead. Yeah. I think it's a reason. Which was it. created in nineteen twenty six. Um the second week we of got February the longest, was the longest month. called Black History Week. And of course, you know, it grew and it is now known what we call today Black History Month. So once again, shout out to Carter shout out to Wilson for that right there. Applause. Mm-hmm. We we need to get one of those buttons. <laughs> All right, yeah. Sorry. My person's gonna be. <clears throat> I would say Marcus Garvey. So if you don't know, Shout out he's pretty much like a pioneer. Thank you. A pioneer for like the Pan African movement. Vodman. Yeah, yes. Shout out to Marcus. Marcus the school I went to in the Bronx was called, called Marcus Garvey. Jamaican. <laughs> Yes, he was. Yes, yeah. so shout out to Ja. Ja, there you go. And about that life, Regent. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. Was that? We don't. Nothing. And we don't you being disrespectful on Black History Month? No. We don't. Too well, much. just for the people oh, who didn't know, Marcus you, Garvey. <laughs> yes, Marcus Garvey is Jamaican. Shout so am I. So shout is my family. Jamaica. So he um he's like the pine he's like a pioneer or the pioneer for the Pan African movement. Mm-hmm. The colors, Pan African flag, you mm-hmm. know all that stuff. So he's yeah. very much. He's very much like the godfather of mm-hmm. us. He's an innovator. So, yes. Have I would shout out to him. The the best Star Spangled Banner <laughs> ever. Wait. Who? Wait. Say what? Hold on. <laughs> wait, wait. Wait a minute. What would you say? No, <laughs> no. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, no, no. And you know what this is about to say for wait. Black History Month. We <laughs> ain't drink tonight. We really didn't. Where did this come from? No, there was not one drink had tonight. <laughs> no Jose. Clay. You sure? No Clay. Clay. In his own house? Yo. Yeah, that's a, that's a fact because he probably has some Quavo in the bag. <laughs> Son. Wait. Let me tell your ass not to bring that sorry, shit Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's I, black history. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Go ahead. In my defense. <laughs> what did you in your say? defense, what? Wait, in my defense. Wait. Sorry. We're not waiting. Let's go. I got Marvin Gaye. Dumbass nigga. Shut up. Mix. Shut up. No, Clay, I'm telling you. What is he I'm telling you. So, so then we can have this conversation then. Yeah, please. No, we're going to have the conversation. Gonna... The conversation <laughs> that he just started okay. was, what you said, Marcus Garvey, right? Or uh-huh. you said Mark, Marvin Gaye you were talking about? Yeah. I was talking about Marvin Gaye. <laughs> no. Okay, so, so no. Wait. All right. To segue into what Clay said, because it was a miscommunication. No. Yeah, there was an abrupt, there was an abrupt change, but <laughs> but so since he made the abrupt change, he was saying Guys. that Marvin Gaye's uh, Star Spangled Banner was better than what are you saying? No, he said it was Are you one saying, of the best. He didn't say. Oh, he was, said one of the best. She about to roast. Oh, Marvin Gaye, because I was about to. She about I was about to roast to you. No. Cause to me, there's no, there's no wait, one wait, better wait, than Whitney Houston. In Houston's. my defense, guys, um, I'm running on three oh. hours of sleep, <laughs> two days. So I... we was gonna end on a high. Sorry. I... Well, okay. So between Marvin Gaye's "Star Spangled Banner" and Whitney Houston, I'm taking Whitney Houston's any day of the week. Like I have not found anybody who was better than Whitney Houston's to date. I feel like in it's my opinion, different, though. they're too different. different. Whitney gave a vocal you heard this moment. Whitney gave, gave vocals. That's what, what you're supposed to give vocals. Yeah. But we don't need a... this. It was in. We went to the show, Amanda Seals show. Yeah, and, and they had this argument. It was a unanimous it decision. No, it was not. It was. <laughs> no, it was not. Whitney Houston won that, that by woman a landslide. Gave a a landslide. good reason as to why Marvin Gaye was better than she hers. She won. She def- Whitney won, but um, Whitney's uh, won because Whitney that, was. I forgot her lit. name. Shout out to Whitney Houston too. Uh, David, oh, I forgot that lady's name, but she she gave good reasons why. Talking about Marvin. Joan Morgan. There you go. Because apparently I was the only one there. All right, don't. <laughs> You did bring I could have sworn I brought it up. I, I did. But Sorry. y'all was sitting here debating for a minute about who it was. Shout out to, it wasn't even a man. Shout out to Smart Funny Black. I need, <laughs> a, I need the New York <laughs> dates to hold come. On, hold on. Major timeout. Major timeout. Time flag on the play. We're going to get right back to that. But had a flag being on that the play. we are coming to a close of Black History Month. Had a flag on the play. This just in, this, this, in my opinion, is pure fuckery. Right? So uh. the House of Representatives. <laughs> Just passed the oh. Anti-Lynching Act, voting 410 
So four. First of all, I need to know who was the four geniuses that oh, they gave the four. Dio Hughley has it. Dio Hughley posted three Republicans and one independent. And more importantly, it took y'all dumb. how many years to, to f- finally make this illegal? Right. Like, don't do me no favors. You've been... Listen. Yeah, people were actually In 2017, that, 2018, 2019... It's 2020. Black men and women was getting hung in all of these different... In Atlanta, of all places. You know what I'm saying? Like, just imagine you like to go jogging or whatever the case may be. You do yoga in... in, 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 in one of the little public parks, and you go out there early Tuesday morning, right. and it's a whole grown man hanging from a tree. This wasn't no accident, Traumatic. but now here it is, twenty twenty. You want to do me favors and, and 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 say this is illegal? This is a federal crime. I'm not gonna say what I want to say due to the listeners, but <laughs> y'all can hold that. Use your imagination. Like <laughs> I said, use y'all imagination. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely d- agree. It's uh, I don't think it's nothing to celebrate. It at done. all. It's a whole should like, have been done a long uh, time ago, especially since they're gonna name it after Emmett Till. Hmm. So that that and yeah. Then, with that being said, because the woman who is she still alive? She's still I alive. I believe so. And she admitted that she lied. So Made you want to lock her up or not? Nah? This is what Stigmatic was talking about. Why didn't she get the clink clink? You know what I'm saying? Prime example. She Uh-oh. made up a whole lie. Mike was How you make up a whole lie? Whatever. And then you admit to the lie. Right. And, the, and oh, wrote a book. Oh, okay. Okay. You lied. Okay. She cool. wrote a book. What's for wrote a like, book. We just moving on. Now. What? Yeah. I don't I think that should I be. Look this damn book up. I have a question though. Like Disgusting. I always say this, and I feel strongly about this, and I'm always gonna feel strongly about this. I still feel like we as Black people should never feel comfortable in this country because there's still reparations to be made, and it shouldn't be a little slap on the back or a little smile on my face. You like me? Oh, cool. You gave me this. You gave me that. Cool. I need to feel accepted in this country and I, I will never feel accepted mm-hmm. in this country and it's always going to be something in the back of my mind saying that I'm never good enough and in spite of in, in this black history my shout out to all the people to find the odds of that and doing what they got to do for their family yeah it's, it's I feel like we as black people we always walking around eggshells in this country no matter what space we in and it's and it's sad because I feel like certain times we shouldn't have to do that but the history on how hundreds and hundreds of years through slavery, through Jim Crow, through all that, it's been indebted in this country that black people are like beneath it. And it's it's ridiculous. It's like we we deserve, we work hard, we good people, like we do everything that everybody else does. So I don't understand why in twenty twenty we still have to deal with such bullshit and just blatant racism like it's not even covert no more it's blatant like and oh you a nigga like we don't we and don't then on top of that we don't being that we got this genius in office right so it took y'all up to genius genius loose relative loosely it took y'all up to 2020 <laughs> to make that act illegal so tell me when was america great wait i that, just want to know also you did find that out, bill let me know. did it go through the senate yet it I'm went through sure. the Senate in 2018. It just got. It's supposed to go through Congress and then the Senate. So where did it start at? Just went through the House of Representatives. It just went through the House of Representatives. That's Congress. So did it go through the Senate? I'm not sure. To, I'm not sure. Because it's still not even a law if it didn't go through the Senate. It's crazy. I want to know who the four but people that sat and said, you right. know what? Nah, I don't know. Like <laughs> no. <laughs> the fuck is their problem? But my <laughs> thing is, why do we <laughs> even. Anti? Why do we even need. <laughs> Why do we need a law for that? A law for that because it's murder anyway. Like you're saying, if this person was lynched, they were killed. That's that's essentially what we're saying. They were killed. They did not come up here, hang themselves. This is not a suicide act. What you're saying is that this person was murdered. So Mm -hmm. if we already have murder, murder, homicide, like that's it. That's what it is. So did we really even need this anti-lynching thing? This law, this passed. It's just, uh, why Why do we need extra things to say the same thing? Same thing. This person was murdered. That's exactly what you're telling so they me. they skin color. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So now you're telling me, you, the only thing this is saying is that now y'all just trying to acknowledge that if they had murdered this way, <laughs> now it's illegal. Now it's illegal. Before, yeah. it, it was just, was, you know, uh, we don't know how he got up right. there. Now, I, that's a shame. You do stabbed have, him. She, had you lynched him, he wouldn't be here right now. Right. Stick I do have it. one question. For Black History Month, do we need some more black innovators in music and media mm. as far as like I definitely think we positive need. light as far as for our young I wouldn't black. say I wouldn't necessarily say we need more. What I would say is we need to shed Spotlight. light yes. okay. on gonna, the ones that have the always, ones that are you always been, okay. like J. Cole here. Right. We no like this is a whole that. fact. Like <laughs> the reason why we say things like that, right? Because and and I say we because we're all guilty of it. We've all spoke on our culture and said we need more of something that we have yeah, but we're not paying attention to the people who are actually we, doing it right, just haven't mm-hmm. paid attention to it or shed light Enough, on it. yeah I you know well wasn't like, that like the conversation we had not too long ago about ndre and all of them music so right. trying to like positive oh, yeah, music right. yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. that's getting overshadowed by the overshadowed by the right. Drop that like matter of well. fact Definitely. okay so you know um um there's well there are people who say, matter of fact, okay, Young and May have posted, I believe. On I did. Oh, yeah, I did see this. On Instagram, oh, yeah. and she spoke about how there's no balance in music. Right? I, I agree and, with that, too. I agree. Now, but that's Black. not necessarily true. I agree with both of them. Mainstream yeah. radio <laughs> Don't doesn't play, play doesn't R&B play, music. Um, mm-hmm. But we have a whole new genre of artists Right, you know, black, but then because mm-hmm. no, black it's not spoke black. out. No, he's it's six black. It's no, it's no, black. It's, it looks like it's it's black. Nah, didn't he say? No, he said his name is black. I don't know. I heard differently. No, it's black. <laughs> yeah, he said I, I heard, it. I heard him say differently, I but differently. okay. But black, <laughs> but black. He he spoke out and said that he's one of the people that make that kind of music, and also um, who's the other person he said? See, I don't want to know. I, I really don't want to say Brent Fires because I feel like he's he's R and B, but I feel like he's still. I mean, right? Exactly. I see. I would say Daniel. I would say Daniel Caesar. If any, if anybody. I see both sides. Have never heard Daniel Caesar on the radio. Me neither. Really? I have. I've never heard. No, 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 no. Wait, wait hold on. Is, her, right? I've never heard him on the radio. Yeah, me neither. I've heard him. I've never heard me Daniel neither. Caesar on the radio. Came I stumbled on Daniel yeah, Caesar on YouTube. Can people not apologize for what he did? What did he do? He just. Let's look it up. He defended. Oh, Save that he did. Well, to what you're saying, sleep. Another topic. I see both sides. To Young another and May, yeah, that's to topic. Young and May, and to Black. Yeah, I, I see both both, both sides. I definitely can agree with Young. Young was it? Yeah, yeah, Young and May. May. I agree that with her, but then also you kind of shitting on other artists who are making that music. Right. Yeah, just because true, you're not true, checking for them. But how? But listen, right? She yeah. never said that she was checking for them. She said, "Where are where are these other artists?" If you're saying like he said, he never. But but look, just because he's not checking, that doesn't mean sleep not checking for him. He said he never heard Daniel C's on the radio. Right. We all have said no, but that's what we're saying. That's what I'm saying. That's not what Young Ma is saying. She's not. I don't think she's shitting on these other people. She's just saying, I'm not. I aware. think she's not aware. Right. Right. She's not like right. If if, right. if like how Sleep just right. said to us, right. like majority of us at this table said we've heard Daniel C's on the radio. Sleep just sat here and said he's mm-hmm. never heard him. That's he's one person's him. point of view right. to what's mm-hmm. going on. So I can see both. So sides I guess of what as an artist, saying. as an artist, exactly. I get. I get that she didn't try to meet down her statement, but the way that she worded it sounded like that. Because if that's like black coming out, right. but like damn, we need more rap with people with bars. She probably pop out like what you mean. Like That's a fact I always too. give you bars. They, 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 you know what I'm saying? But, but both of them, are, both of them are both correct. Them are right. Right, right, right. I do. If he came out and said rappers need bars, I agree. And if she came out and said something, yes, I agree. Like the lanes, the lines of what people are doing have gotten so blurred. Like, right, before, exactly. Singers are rapping, rappers are singing. <laughs> right. It's, every the lines are all type of. Right. You don't even know what's going on before. Right. And then you have the people who fall through the cracks, like Daniel Caesar. But you mm. do have Khalid. Um, Khalid. Ka- Khalid. But he's Khalid is on the radio. Khalid, I feel like is more um, like pop. As far as the two, yeah. the two women who have been pushing forward, which would be her and LMA, 
They have been. LMA is with. still pop. I can't really put her with R and B. I don't out. know. Yeah. I put LMA with R and B. I can't. I'm not putting her with Speaking pop. Of yeah. LMA because other than tripping, I haven't heard any anything new. So does she have? Any well, she has a song with Usher with on the radio. Ursa that's really kind of cool. Ursa I like that song. With Usher, yeah, that's, that's, that's don't that waste nice my time. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, definitely fucks with that song. It's a dope song. Yeah, I'm hoping like Usher's Confessions song. Three is actually like a R and B. This R&B. new snippet that he gave us of Confessions Three, trash. <laughs> I hope it's so. Like if that's a, what it's gonna be. Keep, keep it. it. <laughs> and that's that. On well, I hope it's R and B. I hope right it's here. not like. I hope he doesn't blur the lines. I hope it's R and B. Well, you remember Usher kind of temporarily lost his way for a second. No, yeah. But when he did come back with no, because he did come back with um, what was it? The A. I oh, did the, like hey, that. Yeah, um, I did like that, but it was blurred did, though. It was blurred with I, I, rap. I did kind of like it though. He had a few. Songs I like the two though. That I was like, okay, Usher, this is kind of stepping back into what you, what you used to do. But for a minute, like he completely lost me for a, a minute. Yeah. I, after Confessions, yeah, I mean, Neo, I that was, like, was his click. best yeah, album. Good. Yeah, Neo. Yeah, Done. I don't even um. Yeah, yeah. but hella gone. But I agree with both sides, Especially with Black and Young and May. They just needs to be, find a balance to where people are getting shine, like you said, that need the yeah. shine. So to get you and aware. stop giving such so much entertainment, so much light so to these fools. Like, stop. And I think to Clay's point, if you take if you go outside of music, I think I think recently we have a good wave of like just Black people spreading knowledge, like Amanda Seals. Shout out to Amanda Seals, I love her. DL and I. Dio Dio Co- play, J. Dio Cole Dio is the shit. I agree with him. Like I'd be like, he cracks know, me up. You don't like Dio? Michael, what's his name? Um, the Dyson guy, Michael Dyson. Why you don't like Dio? J Cole. I'd even throw Ti in there. Questionable, but I think for the majority of the time, I topic. Speak on it. I'd even throw Ti in there. Right. But I think we. I think black voices. I think black voices. Spreading knowledge about black things, I think it's always, always gonna get a. Place. And I just think we're fucking magical people. Shit. Yeah, and, and don't that's give me props. All right, so we. And that's that on that. And we're rooting for everybody black. I'm it's on my Easter ring. Every day. Happy black. Who you be Black for? History Month, oh, y'all? Twenty four seven. Shout out to the blacks. Not shout out to the blacks. Shout out to the Negroes. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for whatever was about. Yeah, to I was I was tuned in. Word. I was definitely yeah, tuned in. Like that and then the blacks. Oh, right. I was definitely tuned in for Listen, that. Listen, thanks for uh tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, follow us on all platforms. Petty House Podcast. See y'all next week. Bye. Bye. Later. Later.